The UN Secretary General meeting with Turkey's President Erdogan in Ankara before flying on to Moscow. Mr Guterres is trying to build on previous Turkish diplomatic efforts with a new peace initiative involving direct shuttle diplomacy, first in Moscow and then on to Kyiv. He thinks that there is an opportunity now and we'll make the most of uh, what we can. A lot of diplomacy is about, about timing, about finding out when is the right time uh, to, uh, to speak with a person, to travel to a place, to do certain things. And, uh, and he is going in the anticipation that there is a, a real opportunity that is now availing itself and we'll see what we can make of it. The Secretary-General last week called for a truce over Orthodox Easter, a call that fell on deaf ears. I call on Russians and Ukrainians to silence the guns and forge a path to safety for so many at immediate risk. The Secretary-General continues to call for a ceasefire. But that's very unlikely to happen. The Ukrainian side don't want the conflict to become frozen with Russian troops stationed inside their country. And after two months of war, Moscow's made very limited gains. If there's a truce now, it would be very hard for President Putin to declare a victory. I asked Russia's deputy ambassador to the UN whether a ceasefire was a possibility. We don't think that a ceasefire is a good option right now because the only, uh, the only advantage it will give, it will give a possibility for Ukrainian forces to regroup and to stage more provocations like Bucha, like I, I called to you. So frankly, it's not up to me to decide, but I don't see any reasons in this right now. The conflict has cost many lives. Parts of Ukraine have been completely destroyed, leaving ruined buildings and mangled metal. But despite all this, the guns still seem unlikely to be silenced yet. James Bayes, Al Jazeera, at the United Nations.